Well, you certainly want to be in the water today because temperatures are very hot. It's 84 in Raleigh right now. Humidity is extremely high as well. 86 in Clayton, Fayetteville 88, and Rayford is the hot spot right now, coming in at 90 degrees. On our muggy meter, we're not at the very top. It could be worse than it is right now, believe it or not, but we are certainly in that gross category, and we are not going to see any improvement as we head through the holiday weekend, unfortunately. I do want to talk about the tropics a little bit because it's heating up out there. There's an area of low pressure near Hispaniola. It basically has a 0 to 10 percent chance of developing into anything, but of course we'll be watching it because it is going to get closer to the United States. It will drift off to the northwest, bring some gusty winds to the islands in Florida, and then there's a little bit better chance of development once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, but even then the chance of anything happening is still very low. We also have potential tropical cyclone number six. This is off the coast of Africa, so very far away. It is expected to strengthen to a tropical storm. The next name on the list is Florence, but we do not have to worry about this because the storm is definitely going to make a recurve out into the Atlantic. Here at home, we have high pressure just north of our area, hazy, hot, and humid still like it's been for the past couple of days. There is about a 30 to 40 percent chance for some pop-up showers and thunderstorms later on today, but for the most part, it's looking relatively quiet through the rest of your day. In the sand hills, will be a little bit hotter. Temperatures topping out in the low to the mid 90s here with the possibility of an afternoon or evening storm along 95 low 90s 90 in Rocky Mount 91 in Goldsboro Smithfield will be right around 91 today and then in the triangle upper 80s for points north of Durham 89 in Henderson and then we'll see low 90s throughout the triangle later on today now you're looking at future cast so I'm going to kind of walk you through the rest of the afternoon and evening this is for 4 p.m. notice still looks pretty quiet around the area most spots will still be dry at 4 but we could start to see some isolated showers and thunderstorms pop up mainly for the sand hills. As we head through the evening, same thing, pop-up showers and thunderstorms around the area, and we could see some of those storms linger later into the night. 10 p.m., our uh, future cast still showing that around the area, um, just like what we saw last night with that late night thunder and lightning. So watch out for that uh, later on this evening. We also have the Duke, uh, the Duke football game. That's at 7 o'clock in Durham. Warm and humid. Kickoff temperature 84. By the end of the game, we'll see temperatures in the upper 70s. There is a chance we could see a little bit of rain here, but I'm thinking it will stay mainly dry for the game. Now, if you have Labor Day plans, I know a lot of people wondering if they need to cancel their Labor Day barbecues or picnics. I don't think you need to. Have a backup plan just in case. Just prepare for the hot and humid weather. 87 by noon on Labor Day, and 6 o'clock we'll see temperatures in the upper 80s with very few isolated storms. The rain chance looks very low for your Labor Day. Here's your seven day forecast. More of the same as far as temperatures go. We're going to see temperatures each day top out in the upper 80s to about 90 degrees. Even though we have different numbers for each day, it will feel pretty much the same each day. And then low temperatures staying very mild in the low 70s. We do have high pressure build in by the end of the weekend, so that will drop our rain chances a bit. So we have 40% chance today and then gets a little lower by your Sunday and Monday. Not too bad. And people no. have a three day weekend, a lot of people. Yes, I do. Do you? I don't think you guys do that. I do. I, I do. Uh, sorry, I'll be sorry. here Monday. I'll be here Monday. It's fine.